I'm a hypnotherapist and I've been doing past life regression and hypnotherapy for over 45 years. I've been in this a long time. When I started out 45 years ago, there was no, nobody knew about reincarnation, nobody knew about past lives, uh, there was no metaphysics, there was no new age. It was at the very, very beginning of everything. And that's a little hard for the younger generation to understand that, but there was a time when none of this existed. And I was way back at the beginning of that. What I was using hypnosis for 45 years ago was just habits, stop smoking, lose weight, and to relax people. <clears throat> and it was all done with the old, old-fashioned methods. Watch the shiny object, all of those things. So I've come a long way. I don't want to go too much into the background, but during those 45 years, like I said, I don't channel and I'm not a psychic. All of my material for my books comes from my clients. And I've seen thousands and thousands and thousands of people during that time. I consider myself to be the reporter, the investigator, the researcher of lost knowledge. As I get all of my material from the people that I work with when I'm doing the therapy sessions. I do the therapy and the consultation with my clients. <clears throat> and they usually come to me with problems. Now they're coming with mostly physical problems. But during that, we get amazing information that comes out. So that's what I accumulated in my books. But it doesn't come through one person. I may get one, from, one piece of information from somebody on one side of the world, then I'll get more information about the same topic a week later on the other side of the world. So my job is to put all these pieces together like a puzzle, and then you get this story. And when you have hundreds and hundreds of people saying the same thing, you know it has to have validity. Because they don't know what I've found and they don't know even what I'm looking for. I never know what I'm looking for either until it all be gets together. But that's what I've been doing and I now have 17 books out on every phase of metaphysics there is. And I'm working on three more right now. And they said, which one's next? And I said, whichever one gets finished next will be the next one. Because I never know where all this is going. But oh, during that time, I found that the normal hypnosis wasn't doing it. So I developed my own technique. And it's not like any other hypnosis technique out there. It's totally different because I found a way during those 45 years to contact what I call the source of all knowledge, where you can have the answers to any questions you want. <clears throat> it's a little complicated. I don't want to go into too much on explaining that. I know there's a lot of my students are in the audience, and they already know what I'm talking about. I'm teaching my technique now all over the world. But I found how to contact this source. First, it was by accident. And then I found out how to bring it in in every session that I have. <clears throat> we can have the answers to everyone's problems. And we have instantaneous healing in one session. That is the main part of what I'm teaching now, is how to do this how to use the client's own mind to heal them of anything. And I mean anything. We are having doctor verifications of all these cases all over the world. I have doctors and psychiatrists taking my classes now and are incorporating it into their own, um, prof their own, I don't want to say profession, their own uh, business, I guess you would say. But it's being proven time and time again this is how powerful your own mind is. You don't really know how the power that you have. And this is what I've discovered with this and how to people use it. And we have miraculous healings every day in my office. <clears throat> and my students are now reporting the same thing. Uh, I've been over here since July and I've done four classes already all over Europe. 
and I won't be back home until October. We have more classes to go. And I'm conducting them everywhere. And to me, it's so satisfying to see that the, peop the students are getting it. They know how to apply it, and it is working everywhere. One doctor that took the class a few months ago told me, you have discovered the new medicine. So that's my main thing I'm focused on. But the other material that comes through are the answers to any questions you could possibly want to know. And that's where all my metaphysical books have come from, especially the Convoluted Universe series, to where we keep giving me more and more complicated theories and <coughs> concepts. Just when I think I've got it all figured out, they throw me another one. <laughs> At the end of Convoluted 3, I told them, I guess that you have told me everything there is to know. I don't think there's anything left that you can tell me. They said, oh no, there's more, there's a lot more. So then it ended up being convoluted four. And those books are about six, 700 pages long. And I had to have convoluted four done last November. I was on a deadline. So I took out 300 pages out of that book or it wouldn't have been done in time. It's still 700 pages. So that's the basis for another book that I'm working on. So the material just keeps pouring out of my clients and none of them know what the other ones have said. That's the amazing thing, that this cannot be faked. <clears throat> but what we're gonna talk about tonight has to do with the three waves of volunteers and the new earth that we're going into. Here we are in 2012 and it's not the end of the world. This is the beginning of everything. You're living in the most exciting time in history, more than you could possibly imagine. This is the greatest time to be alive right now, and you did cho choose to be here. So what we're gonna go over is the whole process that led us up to this point. And a lot of this is in my new book. I wrote two books last year. It was the first time I ever did two in one year. One of them was The Three Waves of Volunteers and then The Convoluted Form. But <clears throat> the theories that I'm going to tell you have taken many years to put together from pieces of puzzles until finally it began to make sense. These people are telling me something that is following a pattern. This can't be gotten through one person. It comes through many. So I began to see patterns developing in my work. And that's what I began putting these theories together about. <clears throat> but first I've got to tell you where the majority of you are right now, I guess, in your development, where we're at at this time. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to go back to the beginning of everything. It's the only way you're going to understand how you got to this point. By the beginning, I mean the very beginning of where we all came from. And my clients come in when they have their list of questions. They always want to know, where did I come from? And I said, we all came from the same t a place at the same time. And they said, no, I want to know my home planet. I said, you don't have a home planet. You have a school that you attended on another planet, but that's not your home. Your home is the same where we all started out. And we all began at the same time, at the same place. We all started with God or they call him the source, the source of everything. That's where we all began. And I have had many of my clients go back to the times when they were still with God. So we've been able to get an accurate picture of what God is and how this whole thing works. And it's quite amazing. <clears throat> 